Hey, what's going on, Danger Close Cinema? This is Apollo Star 4, but my real name is Matt, so I'm just going to continue to call myself that. Because that's what everyone else calls me. So, uh, right here I have a game of Domination on Array, and uh, right in the beginning I'm just fooling around with the Claymore, see if I can do a diving plant. But it's just like the gun, you, you really can't, but I was just trying it out anyway. So, um, anywho... My team's going to play a bit of the objective here while I go around slaying a lot. But I still play the objective a lot. Um, I think my whole team gets four caps each, except the last dude on the bottom. But I don't know if he joined later or whatever. Um, anyway, I'm going to come in the center building. And this is what I call the business building. Because when you go in here in domination, all shit goes to hell. And the shit hits the fan or you go ape shit or whatever you want to call it. But um, it just turns into a clusterfuck, and that's what you're going to see in, like, a few seconds. There's my first kill in here, second kill in here. Got to reload the dual mags, and that's what I'm using with a red dot or blue dot. No, I think it's a red dot because I prestige, and I'm level 20 prestige on this, so I don't have it yet. Um, anyway, I'm using the end field. And these guys just continue to come in this building, which is hilarious because they're pretty much spawn trapped at sea. So one of the flanks is through this building and it's not working out for them because there's a force here called Apollo Star 4 and um, that force is a bit troublesome for them. And look at these two geniuses trying to come through the window which is the slowest flank you could possibly do because before you even get over that window so I'm going to shoot you in the face. And uh, here is a little trick I picked up. I like spray at them to get them to come in the building, throw my grenade, destroy a car. And then um, sit back and watch them come back really into the building. But um, yeah, I'm just biding some time right here. And then I'm going to come back here and then find these two dudes coming back in the building. And uh, don't worry, I don't spend the, my whole gameplay here. There's going to be a, one dude that like freaks the shit out of me because he's glitching all over the place. And finally kills me. But that's coming up in... Ooh, that was, that was pretty nice. I didn't expect to get that guy, so... I don't know. Anyway, here he is. Here's this weird lag dude. I don't, that was weird. Do you see him lagging all over the place like that? Uh, whatever. I was. It was a pretty good streak right there. I don't really know how much kills I got, but I'm pretty sure it was a lot. It was like I'm gonna say 12 or 13. Um, anyway, so I got my care package that I didn't call in yet, and I call it in, and then I get shot from this guy, which I probably just spawned where he spawned. Or I don't know why I spawned behind him or something. You ever get spawned in a spot and you see your own body fall down, like, because you just died? That happened to me in Modern Warfare 2 like 20 times. Where you could just, where you see your own body fall. And like, I think these spawns are a lot better than Modern Warfare 2, but they still have some issues like that. I'm pretty sure that guy spawned there, or it was the same guy that killed me earlier. But um, anyway, here I'm going to be a team player and take out that... UAV or, or spy plane that's what they call it in this game um, and mainly that's because I'm using ghost and I'm also using I want to say warlord first not pro yet and then either hacker or ninja I'm pretty sure it's hacker but it doesn't help me out too much since not a lot of enemies were using equipment in this game um, there I call in that second chopper and then I get shot, or I get like tagged by this guy, but I have no clue where he went. So I'm just going to forget about him and move on. And get, hip fire that guy, luckily. I don't know how that happened. Um, and then right here I see that the enemy capped B. So I'm like, oh, we got to get this fucker back. And um, I don't have any smoke to throw down, but I'm not sure if my teammates are going to throw it down. Um, oh, wait, no, that's not this part. Is it? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, my teammates throw it down, and I'm gonna try to defend this area. And then watch this guy in the right, right here. Okay, like, seriously, he could have killed me right there. I was laying down, and he was in a pretty good cover spot. He must have had, like, semen on his sights or something, because he can't shoot me with a dick. And that's gonna happen to me right here, because I am retarded. Uh, yes. Actually, I was just running out of bullets. I wanted to re. You know, restock on ammo and plus get this free Blackbird just chilling here for no reason. You know, that's pretty awesome. Leave a Blackbird for me. 
I think he left it there because I overheard him saying that he wanted to get some challenges. The share package, share package, care package, bear package challenges done. And uh, so he just left it there for somebody else. And luckily I spawned right there and got it. Um, here's a big mistake by me. I thought there was a guy in B, but there wasn't. So I'd go to throw my frag out like randomly. And then uh, this guy from the side kills me. Um, people, it doesn't matter if you get killed while your blackbird's up. Like you see there, I thought the guy was dead. I thought the red arrow was dead and not coming for me, but I still died. And um, just because someone dies when a blackbird's up doesn't mean they're terrible. Or it doesn't mean they suck, doesn't mean they're bad, doesn't mean anything at all. It just means that they were caught off guard or like, or uh, there's just too many of them. I mean, even though you see like all six guys on the UAV coming towards you, doesn't mean you're going to take all six out. Because you only have enough bullets to take, um, to take a few of them out. And right here, I don't know how this guy didn't kill me. He must have had like cheese in his shoes running all slow and shit and like, I don't know. Fuck, I would have killed me if that was me. And he didn't even look to the side where he clearly saw it went. But uh, here I'm in the business zone again. I'm taking these guys out pretty pretty goddamn well. And there I take out another guy coming through the window. So this is a pretty good spot if you're looking to hold this place down right behind that machine. And I'm like, what the hell, let's get a law kill. I see this guy coming on the, the Blackbird and then boom! My seven kill streak for the chopper. And then why not finish it off with a nice three piece here. Knife to the back. Um, also, how do you get the backstabber medals? Like, I fucking stab people in the back all the time, but I don't get them. Or, I think he has to be a stabbing motion. Here, I fail with AK-47 because I don't like to aim down the sights. And, apparently, I switched to a shotgun with ghost steady aim. Or, no, ghost sleight of hand. I don't know, what was it? Is it steady aim? Uh, I'm blind and I'm slow, so. Here, I'm going to wait for my care package. But uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the backstabber medals. I think you have to like do the stabbing motion, but I don't know how to do the stabbing motion. I think it's a fucking sprint stab or something. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. But whatever. I don't use a knife too much, except um, in my shotgun game that I'll have up on my channel, possibly this channel. Oh, look at that long range on the shotgun. Boom. Stakeout's like probably my favorite shotgun so far, even though I only used that in the. Um, the two shot one, I forgot what that's called. Yeah. Um anyway I have a good ass gameplay with this shotgun. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it on which channel though. And I do some pretty good work with it. And uh the game's gonna end about here when I come to the business zone and I don't find anybody. So yeah, that's the game. Uh come check out my channel if you want. You don't really have to, I don't care. But if you like my style come subscribe to me and you'll see a lot more videos and I'll show the final scoreboard in a minute and the final score for me was 43 kills six deaths four caps as well as the rest of my team except the last guy but you probably joined late and the funny thing is look at my kills compared to everyone else's and that just shows off my ag super aggressive playstyle. Um, yeah if you guys like my playstyle, just awesome Okay, bye.